another day off of school. So, a vlog it is. <laughs> we got some running around to do today. I got some stuff in the mail and from Walmart I wanted to show you um, what else are we doing today? We need to work on our derby cars. The derby, Pinewood Derby for their Cub Scouts is tomorrow, y'all. And we have not finished these cars yet. We gotta get that done. So we gotta go to the hardware store and get paint for that. Um, we just have a lot of fun things today. So we thought we'd take you along. So, um, yesterday was Sunday. And some Sundays, at least one Sunday a month, I like to talk Craig and the boys into taking me to the Dollar Tree and going to see what they have. Um, so we did that. So I'm gonna show you what I got from the Dollar Tree. I'm gonna turn you around right here now and show you what, um, I picked up from um, Walmart so their little um, shirts they're I mean these are summer shirts I don't know why they're on clearance but they are um, for three dollars so I found this McCoy wants to have y'all know he's having the Yeti party here um, for his fifth birthday in May and then when we go to Mississippi he has a party there too both my boys do this y'all know if you've been following me we have two parties um, so the Yeti party is in Iowa and then he wants to have a camouflage wildlife party <laughs> like uh, moose, elk, bighorn sheep, bison, that kind of wildlife, um, in for Mrs. First Mississippi party. So I saw this shirt and I thought it was so cute. Even if he doesn't wear it for the party, um, they love camouflage. And also, you know, we're going to a couple of national parks this summer too. And I thought this would be a fun shirt for one day, but I could only find, um, McCoy's size. Um, so my mom and my sister are on the lookout for a uh, merit size in this. And then they had like a wolf one and a bear one and different wildlife stuff. So they're on the lookout for those. They didn't, my Walmart didn't have either of the sizes in those other, um, animal shirts. But anyway, I grabbed this one. I thought it was so cute so be on the lookout for these three dollars for a little t-shirt and they're super cute and like kind of wildlife themed um so if your kids are into that be on the lookout for that i love to wear um i love to wear i love for the boys to wear um sort of themed um shirts and stuff when we go to like the national parks and so last year when we went to yellowstone i made them six seven shirts I don't know one for each day and they matched or coordinated and looked so cute and um it was a huge undertaking and I don't want to have to make that many shirts again this year I will make a few um if I need to but if I can get them for three dollars like this and be cute um to wear in the parks and just during the summer um I'm gonna do that so in speaking with that I found another shirt from um Target they were these um their little Target Cat and Jack shirts were on sale the other day. I think they were like three fifty four, maybe they were four dollars. Um, so I grabbed this one, and I, they did have both of the sizes. The boys are in um, a merits room playing. If you hear them screaming, um, the Explore the Wild shirt. So I'm gonna save this for the summer and for national parks. That was cute. I think we even have shorts. I don't know if they still fit, but shorts this color that they could pair them with. So if I find more throughout um, the year and through the summer, I'll show you in case y'all are y'all's little boys have um, Explorer hearts and like to wear clothes like that too. And then I could not pass these up. I like to get them a little Easter shirt for if we go see the Easter Bunny. We have seen the Easter Bunny ever since Merritt was born, but last year it seemed like they were over it. But we do always go to the arcade and maybe a movie um, after. So I told them if they still wanted to do that, go see the Easter Bunny so Mama could get her pictures, that we would do the arcade. So we'll see if we go or not. Anyway, I just thought these shirts were super cute. They could wear them for their egg hunt or just to school or whatever. But I grabbed that from Target. By the time this goes up, it will not be um, on sale anymore. But their swimwear was buy one, get one 50% off. Showed them. The suits, and this is what they picked out, and they both picked the same one, which just makes my mama heart so happy. Y'all know it does. So they grabbed these with the sharks and the stingrays and all that. They're really into, like, marine life and stuff. So they're into lots of things, as you can tell. We like animals and wildlife and any kind of, like, living thing they really enjoy. So that's fun for me, too. Um, anyway, back to the swimsuit. So this is the little rash guard that goes with it. I like to get a long sleeve rash guard. That way you don't have to put any sunscreen on except for their face um, and their legs if you're like out of the water. But um, anyway, um, this is kind of a longer um, sleeve so it goes down to their elbow at least. But um, that is what they look like. And of course I got merits too. So I think they're cute. And they have hats from last year that will still coordinate with these suits. So we're all set. Oh, also from Walmart. Let me pull this out. Um, Somebody on Instagram showed this and I about died. They have different prints. They all sort of look Western, but this one to me looked the most Western. I thought it was so stinking cute. I think they call it purple blue is the name of it online. Um, just search no boundaries. I think they call it a beach bag. Cooler tote. Uh, it's not like a, 
insulated or anything, but it's $14.97. And you Western girls, like y'all, how cute is this? It is precious. I can see me using this for like horse shows and just packing all our stuff up in when we need stuff in the car or for like our national park trips or our Mississippi trip, just having it all um, together. I think it is so cute. I just love it. I mean, it says beach toe, but you can use it for whatever you want it. And it's this tassel, oh, y'all, $14.97 for this bag. I think it is precious. Or just like an overnight tote too. Like if Craig and I were going um, to a concert or something and staying overnight, I think that would be perfect. I just love it. So I grabbed that. Um, let's see, what else is going on over here? This is all of the um, Dollar Tree stuff. I'm gonna take it out of the bag so I can show it to you easier. I've got a Mississippi crock pot roast um, in here. This is just a roast, a stick of buddy butter, <laughs> pepperoncini peppers. Is that how you say that? I don't know. Um, if it's if you're doing non keto, then you just do a package of aju and a package of ranch, and you just cook it all day, and it's so good. But I kind of tweaked it a little bit to make it keto. But um, anyway, so we'll have that for supper, so that's good. I'm gonna get all this out of the bag and show you what we got from the Dollar Tree. All right, I got it all laid out, so I thought I'd show you what we picked up. Merritt was in um, Coy, uh, Coy, and Craig had to go to um, like the farm store, so they dropped us off in Merritt, and I went in. So we got more stuff than I probably normally get. But anyway. <laughs> We had fun. Merritt saw these sunglasses and thought they both needed them. We keep sunglasses everywhere. We have like a dedicated um, bag for like um, when we go to the splash pad or the pool. I keep sunglasses in there. We keep sunglasses in the car. I keep sunglasses in my purse. Anywhere we are, I have sunglasses for them. So we just picked up a pair to throw somewhere because we break them all the time. They had some DVDs out at the front and he saw this with um, Bugs Bunny. They're into Bugs Bunny and Craig is always talking about Popeye and the boys don't know what he's talking about. So we thought this would be fun. And then this is just kind of like a Western movie. So we thought that'd be cute. Um, this is a door hanger. I had one of these. I have one for fall and let's see Christmas. And I love this because then I can hear when Craig comes in the back door. It just sort of jingles. Um, but I haven't seen a Easter one before, so I grabbed this. I thought that'd be cute. Um, and it's just, well, I guess it looks like an egg. I was thinking I could maybe could keep it up all spring. I think I will. It's cute. Um, and then I found these little Easter eggs, y'all. How cute are these? They're like, um, little robin's eggs in different colors. Um, I might even leave it like this, like in this little container in my three-tier tray. I think that is so cute. So I got two of those. Um, they had all their Easter candy out, so while Merritt wasn't looking... I grabbed some stuff for their baskets. I got them both as Skittles. They had these like, you know, they're into the Jurassic World stuff. They had these like uh, eggs that look like fossils, but they just have candy inside of them. So I got that. I got uh, everybody at Mike and Ike, even Craig. He loves Mike and Ike. And yes, I do make Craig an Easter basket and I make myself one too. <laughs> Anyway, I'll have to buy me some keto stuff for mine, but, um, so I got them all, uh, Mike and Ike Easter, I got Craig some jelly beans for his, um, Easter basket, and I got him some of these Starburst All Pinks, he loves the pink ones, I do too, um, so I got him a couple of those for his basket, uh, the boys both got the Sour Patch Bunnies, um, let's see what else. I got this for my Sunday school class. I always have a bucket of candy and I let them take a piece um, after class. Um, and they're all very... I always used to get um, like peanut butter Reese's and Twix and like all the good chocolate candy. But this class is into like Laffy Taffy, Airheads, all of like the fruity candy. So I got some of these for them. Then, I have found these there before, and every time I do, I get as much as I can. Um, Curate is a name brand, y'all, for a buck. And these are the big, huge, um, uh, just plain beige colored ones or whatever. And I use these on the back of my heels with my booties or new shoes or whatever it may be um, to save myself from getting blisters. So, I keep these in my purse and in my car <laughs> because I always seem to need them. So, I grabbed those. Um, Merritt said they wanted Kit Kats, so we got them some Kit Kats. I saw these little um, Oreos. It looks like they have um, little four packs of the two pack cookies. So I'll just open these up and put them in their snack drawer. They'll enjoy that. I also open these up and put them in their snack drawer. They eat these with spoons, y'all. They are obsessed with these little peanut butters. Sometimes they have the chocolate peanut butter ones that are kind of like Nutella, but way better. But they didn't have those this time. So we just got the regular peanut butter. Um, I t showed y'all, did I show y'all in my last vlog? I can't remember if I did or not. But, um, well, there that goes. Um, these little snack doors that Kristen from Kristen's Chaotic Life uses with her kids. Uh, snack caddies. And you just put, like, a 
pepperoni or a beef stick and a cheese stick and then like little crackers or pretzels or whatever in this and then they can take it and have a snack um i found these at the i was trying to find some more at the dollar tree that didn't have holes in the bottom but i couldn't find any i'll have to look again but these came from the target dollar spot years ago so i just had those on hand let me pick this up um so uh in thinking with that we got some crunching much to put down in there i thought that might be fun for a snack i did we are going to pick groceries up today and i got a ton more um snacky stuff for them because they just like to have a snack when they come home and i'd rather it be something that i can kind of put together and make healthy ish than just grabbing something so then i got uh these they had all the colors and i grabbed all of the white and blues for the yeti party i just told you about um i thought these would be fun for like decoration and then the kids can take them when they go to my cousins my cousins the boys cousins my niece and nephews can take them as like favors when they go so i'll grab some of those they had emoji um toothbrushes merit thought that the boys that him and mccoy would like those so we got some toothbrushes we got mccoy a dinosaur book we've been trying to find a dinosaur book that had all the names and told about them so this one will be perfect and then Merritt is very into like traveling and the states and learning about all that sort of thing. And so we got this 50 states book for him. They had all of their fairy garden stuff out, y'all. So you know we stocked up. Merritt just went through and picked out all the stuff we didn't have. We do a fairy garden every year. It is so fun. We have a ton of the fairy garden stuff from the Dollar Tree, all the houses and stuff. But this year they put out some new figurines. So we got this one. What is this? Like a little fox or something? And then we got these little, it looks like a little table and chairs. This is like a little mailbox and some toadstools. I can't wait till summer and I can show y'all our fairy garden, y'all. It's so cute. Um, and last year it grew and it grew and it grew and it lasted. I mean, it was like end of September before everything finally died. It was so pretty. And this is like a little bunny and an owl. So we got that. I always pick up command strips and hooks when I see them at the Dollar Tree. I just like to have these on hand. You never know when you need a quick little command strip. I get these, I stick them in the bathroom and then the boys like to put them in their room by their bed so it smells nice. <laughs> So we got three of those. I got some Easter plates just for lunches and snacks and whatever. They, I like to have festive plates throughout the season. I saw this book and I thought Craig might like it. Sometimes when we travel or he is just bored, he will read. He doesn't have a ton of time to read, but sometimes he does. So I thought that might be fun. So I grabbed that for him for a dollar. Oh, I'm getting tired, y'all. Um, Merritt saw these and thought, oh, how fun. So he picked one out for him and one out for Koi. Maybe we'll do these today. Um, little emoji coloring um sheets i guess i saw these um they're a little bit big for the boys they're medium um youth sizes but i thought how fun would it be i have some um neon paints and just some regular paints um like fabric paint to do when we have um when we kind of celebrate st patrick's day just to color some shirts and make them cute and have a little fun activity because we tie-dyed shirts this summer and they had so much fun so i thought that might be fun so i grabbed those and then they had these little easter bunny um kind of little craft set so we grabbed one of these each for the boys we'll save these for later now this is the stuff for my secret sister did i tell y'all about this at mops we do secret sister and so um we kind of like draw names sort of and you just get a random name and that's your secret sister for the year and um well it's for the we start in like january so it'll go till may and she, and you, we write out like a thing about like what's our favorite what do we like what do we do how, you know kind of our personalities so that you kind of know what to buy for them in case you don't know the girl so um my girl said she liked peanut butter m&ms so i got a few this is for like the rest of the year not just for one day like we have mops twice a week uh, twice a month and so every time we go we'll bring a little happy so i'll like pair this with this and give it as a happy or i'll you know just a few little things um for that for that time but i just kind of stocked up on i was at the dollar tree they had these lacroix i've never seen those there before and she said she liked sparkling water so we'll give those a whirl i've got some bigger packages of m&ms to put with something um some dove milk chocolate peanut butter these are the dove eggs i picked her favorite color is yellow so i picked this little kind of easter bucket up and i thought for the meeting that's closest to easter i'll fill it with grass and then um easter candy and stuff i'll have to get some more stuff obviously to fill it but um i thought that would be cute i saw this i don't know um just kind of like a lip balm i thought that might be nice to stick in with something i have to obviously get her some more stuff but this is just a good little start um and then i found these tissues isn't that pretty kind of like an aztec looking chevron and then of course the yellow with the rainbows and then i just got some um little yellow bags to put her stuff in so that i would have bags ready to go because you put it on a um 
they have like a special table set up at the meeting and when you get there you quick run over or have your friend run it over so they don't know which one is from you um to the table and at the end the care team girls will hand out everybody's secret sister stuff so that's always fun um let me show you what i got at the last meeting um my secret sister who i obviously don't know uh, that might be too dark got me um this adorable little cactus y'all isn't that precious so she clearly knows me because i didn't write anything about cactuses on there so um what else and she got me some quest bars we don't answer that phone um some quest bars uh which i love for my keto and then she got me um an unsweet tea so that was so fun it's just a nice little happy a nice little treat for the day just to let them know that you're thinking about them and it's just fun to do so that is what i got from the dollar tree i am gonna go round wait for this phone to quit ringing i'm gonna go round the boys up we're gonna go to the hardware store we're gonna go pick up the groceries i do um just an online order and i pick it up it's amazing and then we're gonna go um i'll probably take him to mcdonald's since this is a day off of school so make that fun and then we'll come home and um probably watch some tv relax a little bit and then as soon as craig gets in we've got to start working on these cars because tomorrow is a day um it wouldn't be such a big deal i actually got let me see if i have that stuff um mm, some um decals to put on these cars but um you have they have to like weigh a certain weight or whatever to to be able to race they all have to be the same weight so we have to like figure all that out too so we have got to get this done today let me show you what i got um this is just gonna be a vlog of showing you all the things <laughs> oh Merritt is a tiger that's his um age rank or whatever for being a scout and so they sell these on amazon and i'm sure other places i'm sure they sell them at the scout store but um it's just little tigers and so we're gonna put those on the car i think that will work we'll make his car red and then put the tigers on and then koi wanted let's see where is koi's is it in here maybe he he is not a rank yet he's actually not an official cub scout till next year when he starts kindergarten he will be um he'll have a rank he'll be a tiger and then Merritt will move on to what second grade a lion no no actually McCoy will be a lion. That's what kindergarten is. First grade is tiger. And then Merritt will move on to a wolf maybe or something. I don't know how all that works. We're just really uh, super new to this. But anyway, um, so he didn't pick out an animal since he's not an animal. Um, but our troop is new. And so they um, are very family friendly. And we're all kind of doing it together and learning together. So they said that Koi could come and do all the stuff with us. And then be an official member next year. So he picked out these blue and purple. Y'all know he loves those colors. Um sort of fire light well i guess it's fire stuff so he is gonna have a blue car with this on it i think that'll work a darker blue and then merit will have red and so their cars all look so cute let's see they have already we went to the wood shop and they made the little car so this is i think that's koi's maybe and this is merit's i'm not sure um so we'll have like the we have the wheels and everything to put on them we have just got oh that is not a car that is the piece that got <laughs> wow yeah this is Merits or coys. I don't know. Somebody's. Um, so we have the wheels and everything to put on them. We just have to do all that and make sure they weigh the right amount and everything. So we have got to get going. I'm going to get these boys and we are going to go run our errands. All right. I got these boys gathered up. They wanted a little morning snack of the Oreos we got. And I also didn't show you all this, but they had three packs of these little kind of kid size sunny delights. So they're having these for a little morning snack before we get headed out for our errands. Uh huh. Mm hmm. For so paint for our car. Paint for your car. Like a, for the derby race. For the derby, yeah. Can't wait. Let me see, Koi. You have to pick the prettiest red. Because they look oh, shiny. Don't matter. Mm. That one's the best. Okay, we got the groceries. That was a huge haul. I barely got it all in the car. 
it's gonna be a lot, but it should last us all month. I might have to get some more milk and a little bit of produce, but that's pretty much it for the month. So anyway, the boys decided that they want Culver's so they can have ice cream. When you get kids meals at Culver's, they get like the good ice cream treat with the meal. And so they'll eat that on the way home and then we'll get home and then they can eat their, um, eat the rest of their meal. So we're gonna do that and then head home. Also wanted to show you the colors they picked out. Merritt got pretty much the only red they had, uh, gloss apple pie, and Koi got gloss deep blue for the cars. All right, they got their ice cream. How is it, Mare? Good. You're so dark back there. Koi, how's yours? Good. Good. So they'll bring the burgers out to us and then we'll head home. I love Culver's Burgers. See you too. Yeah, me too. is gonna go outside in the frigid below zero temperatures and paint the, the cars oh to the shop where it's warm and paint the cars quick i know the boys are supposed to do it but <sighs> let's just be real here it's not gonna happen okay we've waited the last minute it's too cold he's gonna go spray paint them i'm gonna put all these flipping groceries away if i got anything that was like new or different or interesting i will show you but i think it's all just pretty normal stuff that i always get i just love the way a full fridge feels <laughs> Now that is good to go. I got the crock pot going still from a Mississippi roast. My coffee is here. I'm gonna have a little downtime while the boys watch some cartoons this afternoon. The, um, let's see, the cars, Craig got them painted. They're hanging up over here to dry. Let's see if that'll focus. And then when they dry, we're gonna get the decals on them and get all that done, get the wheels and the decals on them and have that done. And then, um, what else are we going to do today? That's probably about it once we get that done. Okay, well, we're at about 5 o'clock. Craig just came in, took the cars down, and realized they don't weigh enough. And the weights that we got from, like, the, um, from the shop, from the Cub Scouts, um, like, these little things are not enough. I guess we cut too much wood off the car. I don't know. Moral of the story is, if you're a Cub Scout mama, don't wait till the night before to put the car together. Anyway, he ran to the hardware store to try to find something, fishing weights or something to um, fix that. Um, supper's almost ready. I'm gonna do some cauliflower rice and then some biscuits for the boys. And then <laughs> they are being, what are you, Mary? A dinosaur and a little cheetah here. Supper turned out good, y'all. I love this recipe. It's so easy. It just cooks all day and it makes house so bleh, it makes the house smell so good. And then you just put it over cauliflower rice. Yum yum yum. Um, so our little cars are not dry yet, y'all. We are gonna have to wait until tomorrow to um like put the weights on and put the little decals on and everything to make them cute. So I'm not gonna be able to show you that, but I'll show you um in another vlog or whenever I video the actual derby so you can see how they turned out. But anyway, we are gonna sit down and have supper and probably watch Little House on the Prairie. We're back into watching those again, which is my favorite. It's so fun, we're on season. What season are we on? Three, two, just season two. But um, anyway, we're gonna do that. So I'm gonna end the vlog here. Thanks so much for following us along. Subscribe to my channel. See so you don't miss a thing. I'll see you in the next one. Bye y'all.